Rocco, Rocco, say hi. Hey, why are you always biting on your foot? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another get ready with me. Since you guys really liked the last one and you re were requesting for me to come out with a lot more of them, which I can definitely do. As you guys can probably tell, my voice is a little bit different. I sound like, like, I don't even know what I sound like. I sound like a frog or something because I am so sick. I have been sick for the past three days and I'm hoping and praying that I'm not gonna be sick for Thanksgiving because right now I have absolutely no taste buds and I can't taste anything. Rocco, isn't that horrible? It's like horrible. So today's video is gonna be a get ready for me Thanksgiving edition. This is an example of what I would wear on Thanksgiving. It's not, you know, too vampy and too out there, but you know, it's something a little bit special for the holidays. So really boy, really. This video is not going to be a talk through type video because I think that my voice would definitely get a little bit on the annoying side, but I still wanted to come out with a video for you guys in time for Thanksgiving. So this is the way that I could kind of throw it all together. Not gonna lie though, I'm about to wash all this off and get back in bed. But anyway, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then just stay tuned. Rocco, say subscribe to mommy's channel and don't forget the vlog. Vlog family represent. Oh, oh. Okay, no more torturing. And Lego. All right, guys, so I'm still obviously not 100%, but I want to attempt to still voice over this thing for you guys. So let's see how it goes. I'm starting off by mixing my Makeup Forever Primer. This is the Nourishing Edition with my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I kind of, to be honest with you guys, like the coverage that these drops give without mixing it with a primer or anything at all. But that is what I did with this video, or in this video, and I'm gonna be using a Morphe brush just to blend it out. You guys can see that I went over my entire face with that one layer and it did cover everything, but I still feel like mixing it with a primer, even though that's what they tell you to do, it kind of sheared it out just a little bit. So I'm gonna be covering my under eye circles. I obviously have really bad ones right now with my Maybelline concealer. This is a Fit Me concealer in the shade Sand and I'm also using it on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead and chin just to highlight a little bit. I'm gonna set all of that by using another Morphe brush and this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This one is in the shade Diffused Light. Now I'm gonna be moving on to my eyebrows. I did an entire video on my eyebrow routine, what I do every single day, how I groom them. I talk a little bit about how I have them tattooed. So if you guys wanna see that video, I will link it down below. This is just what I do to my eyebrows on a daily basis. It's really sim simple <laughs> and quick and easy. All right, so next I'm gonna be priming my eyes with the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is kind of like an oldie but a goodie. It actually does a really good job. And then I'm going to set that with the same Ambient Lighting Powder by Hourglass. Next, I'm going to just define my crease a little bit by the contour shade in the Contour Kit by Anastasia. And I'm going to be using Flustered by NYX on my lids. I'm just going to go ahead and define my under eyes a little bit and then I'm going to wipe away the fallout and then I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite bronzer at the moment. It took me a while to bite the bullet and buy this stuff because it is like a $50 or $60 bronzer. It's also by Hourglass and it is their ambient lighting bronzer in the shade bronze light or luminous light and I love it because it kind of highlights my face and gives a luminous glow while also really warming it up and I'm using my favorite MAC brush at the moment I forgot the number so I will put it down below then I dip back into that original hourglass powder to kind of just define my contour a little bit more and to highlight you guys already know I'm using my Becca champagne pop you guys know me, my liner is like an every single day staple and then the mascara that I'm going to be using on top of that is by L'Oreal and it's Miss Mango's mascara. I also have a review on this and I will go ahead and post it down below.
Moving on, I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite lip combo at the moment. As always, I am lining my lips by Boldly Bare by MAC. And then I'm using a liquid lipstick by Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Pasadena. This is actually really similar to Lolita by Kat Von D, but it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more brown toned instead of purple. I feel like it's a lot more wearable for every single day. I love it. Here's a close up of the finished makeup look. And now we're going to be moving on to hair. So I'm just going to take out all these little bobby pins, my ponytail. You guys can see my hair is a little bit of a hot mess right now. I think I'm working with like third day hair here, so I am going to be pulling it away from my face. This is actually a hairstyle that I do pretty often when I just want to be lazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So yeah, I'm just pulling it back in a simple ponytail and then I'm just going to be fluffing it up and pulling it to one side. So here's a look of the perfume and the jewelry that I will be wearing today. And my little baby Rocco, of course, is sleeping on my bed as always. So these hunter green pants are from Fashion Nova. They are high-waisted, stretchy, love them. The boots, you guys already know, just fab. And my leather jacket is from Romwe. Look at that little face, oh my gosh. So here is a better look at the entire outfit. I originally was not gonna keep that geek shirt on because it is a part of my PJs, but you know what? I'm sick, it looked cute, and it worked. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. I love you so much, and I will see you next time. Mwah.